everyone, today I am going to explain how we do remote monitor from our PC part after download the software. And usually we um, want to monitor from our office to monitor what's going on at our home or our property. So um, we can using two ways to remote monitor. One is using our mobile. Mobile, we download app IP Pro 3 after register and login. Then you can start to uh, remote monitor. Another way is from our PC part, like an iPad or your computer. So today I'm going to explain how to do download software in our PC part and how to add a device into our DC software to do the remote monitor. First, you download this software, we have to go to the website. <clears throat> our website is www.awire.net. Okay, just above above the screen you can see and then we go to download okay here is the download okay we click download and after that that is the download interface we can see okay CMS is the software we're going to download. Here has two versions. One is for iMac, one is for Windows. So it's depend on your system. You're choosing either one. So my case, I am using the Windows. So I will click it and download it. Okay. After download it, it will show you download then after you download you find this you find this document in your PC part avoid CMS my is Windows okay then we just click avoid CMS Windows and you will see the icon EC Cloud Setup, that is the, the newest version, newest version. So we click it. Do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes to your device? Yes. We do installation. Okay, installation website. Click I agree. Okay, then install. It might be taking roughly one minute to finish this installing. Okay, we click finish. EC Cloud Camera Monitoring System. Now we here, we only need to click next page.
button. We go next page. Next page. Then finish. Then using an interface, we have to input our password. Our default password is blank. It's empty. So login. After login, here are some uh, instructions that show you how to do next step. Here I will show you how to add our MVR device into this software. You can see here has the add. We click add. We can close it. We click add. Okay. And then, then we choose Cloud ID. Cloud ID is the, our MVR ID. Where we can get it, we can get it from our TV monitor, the main screen. Our Cloud ID is appear on the button, the right side button. Now I go back to my TV monitor and you can see it's see the main screen and then in the bottom can see cloud ID. Okay, that is our cloud ID. You just write it down and again back to your computer. And now I already get my cloud ID. So next step is going to we are going to import okay and there there's one more thing um, they require you import your password this password you have import your NVR password if you never set up any password on your MVR, so you keep it blank, empty. If you already changed your password in your MVR, so you have to input your MVR password. My case, I already changed my a uh, password, so I input here. I will input my MVR password. Okay, then we go to select finish. Okay, because I already added this device earlier time, so it show me device is already exist. What can I do? I just show you. Usually, after you click finish it should uh, show you on the screen in your top right side show your device number cloud id and the you can see it is already be added okay and then we click this plus okay we can see you see channels channel one means camera one channel two is camera two so we click camera one. You can see on your screen. Uh, 
Okay, after we uh, added the device into the software, so now we click channel one. Okay, channel one, how, when we click it, we double click. When the channel one, the color turn into blue, that means channel one already be turned on. So you can monitor channel one from our DC computer from this software now we can see the channel one is in show the images okay and you can see here you should be very you should be um keep your mind over here um here actually we support totally eight channels but you maybe has got us four cameras in one package so here might have a channel one, channel two, channel three, channel four. If your package is come along with the four cameras, so maximum you can see until channel four. I just do a test, so I only install one camera. So now only show the image from channel one. And the when you want to turn on, turn on the camera on your computer to check. Then first you have a double click and let this icon channel one turn into blue. Okay, other channels they are maintain white. But if you want to open another camera <coughs> inside of this system, inside of this software, then you just uh, double click and when it's turn blue. Okay, they will show the image because I didn't install any camera. Uh, without the camera one so here shoes no ve no video but in your case if you already installed uh, four cameras eight cameras you can you can see the image shoe on the screen okay and that is the one we check our image and also the system uh, I mean the app the software support the playback you can play click playback okay and then choose close the video being played confirm and then we again we look at device okay then we click this this device And we choose channel one. After we choose the channel one, then we go move down. We'll see here. You choosing the time. For example, I choosing twenty fifth. and retrieval okay after you click retrieval you can see it is a start playback because my camera today turned on my camera my MVR system is 920 so playback time is start with 920 and if you want to check the specific time time duration we can go down you see here is the this is the time bar you can move your mouse to the time you want to check now I move to 10 o'clock okay 10 o'clock and now we check here shoes 10 o'clock okay again we try we move to 11 o'clock let's move to 11 o'clock maybe the screen has some reflection it's not clear I'm trying to make it clear now it's 11 o'clock okay we again go back to check our screen shoes 11 o'clock and right now the exactly time is afternoon uh, 2.45 and I'm using playback so I can check the 
any time period I want to check. And you will see here they have the green color on this time bar. That means um, in this period that have a recording. The other time there's no any recording. Because in my case, yes, I using this camera only for test. So I turn on MVR system only after 920. So before 920, there's no any recording because I turn off the system. Okay, your case if you are constantly using this MVR system day and night, so it will 24 hours constantly recording. So you can go uh, go back, play back to see what's going on, maybe the day before yesterday or um, yesterday, you can do that. That uh, it is how we um, just uh, to download app, download app and uh, install the, uh, sorry, it's not app, it's a software. We download the software and we install the software, then we just login the software, how to add a device into our this software. After all, then you can monitor uh, all those things from your PC part. Is that very convenient? Um, so I hope this video can help you to install your software in your computer without any question. So if later you have more questions, you also you can connect with the seller and have a good day.